I'm going to show you guys how you change the oil on this Hustler Hyperdrive. Uh, it may be different across the board if you get a Vanguard or if you get the Kawasaki. Um, but the Vanguard, there is, if you look right here, there's this little valve right here. And you unscrew the tip of that right here. And then it lets it drain out the bottom directly up and under here. See it cut out and goes right into the pan. Super simple, really nice setup. So a 10 millimeter fits that and you guys can see what I'm turning right here. See that right there? Once I turn that and get that loose enough, you can reach down in there, turn it with your hand and I'll put it up under here so you guys can see. See that opening? See where it's starting to drip from? Also, if you guys don't understand how much oil goes in your motor, you can always scan this on the Briggs and Stratton and it will show you um, exactly all the things that you need in that. You can pull your owner's manual up and everything. I always put oil around this ring, and then I also fill this one time and kind of swivel this around so that you don't get a dry start. And you can see that paper media in there absorbed almost all of that. Now I had filled this up to the circle right here. And what that's going to do is when you first start this, the oil doesn't have to run through this, soak the paper, and then keep going through, giving you a dry start on your piston. So I would always recommend to pre-fill this before you ever put it on the machine. This is the recommended weight. You don't have to use Amsoil. I'm just extremely happy with the way this stuff is um, performed. Uh, normally, mower companies will go 25 hours to 50 at the most. This is a service life of up to 200 hours. Um, I'm sure that on some things you wouldn't want to do that, but I'm telling you right now, this is extremely good oil. But anyway, the SAE 5W30 is what they recommend in these motors for peak performance. And it says it needs 78 to 80 ounces. There's 32 ounces in this. So you're going to need a little bit over two of these, approximately two and a half. There's one U.S. quart in this. You guys can see it. After you fill it right here, this is where you're going to put the oil in at. After you do that and you put the correct amount in, run it for about five minutes and then pull your dipstick out and see where it's at on the level. Probably see it better on the back. Can't get it to focus here. Anyway, you want it between them two little notches right there, not the dip in the middle, those two little pressed spots. You want it between those. There's a grid on the front that shows you. And you don't want it above or below either mark. 